Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Oblivion. Well, last time we solved a graveyard mystery, and I learned a very valuable lesson indeed. Which is just because literally the start of the game is right there, and this here is the start of the game's first dungeon, that doesn't actually mean this is going to be, you know, that easy. There was a zombie down there who very much kicked my ass. so yeah. Today I need to figure out how the world works. To be specific, what rules am I playing by when it comes to how tough enemies are? Is it going to be, say, in the style of Fallout 4, where enemies are going to level up depending on where I go in the world? Right by the start, they're going to be pretty simple, but as I go further and further away, they're going to get nastier. Or alternatively, is it entirely based on me? As I get stronger, are they just going to get stronger too? Does it not matter which direction I go in? I'm not sure. So today we're going to find out by just picking a direction and walking, though I feel like this is a terrible, terrible idea. It's going to be a learning experience anyway. So how about as we're at Vilvaren right now, we just cross the water right here and do, yes, the... Does that say Red Ring Road or Rad Ring Road? I'm going to assume this is the Rad Ring Road because that sounds cool. So yes, we're just going to do a bit of a loop around the Imperial City and see what we stumble across and how fast it can kill me. Though I should probably go and sell some stuff. Which reminds me, okay, this is, this is weird. So I can't help but notice I've got fast travel points. The area I'm supposed to be going to, the far side of the Great Forest, um, I could just go there now like is this a bug this feels like a bug but it's only for cities and uh, i guess in skyrim as soon as you got to white runner you could pay the guy with the cart to take you to any city so it's kind of like that but still that's that's weird i'm not going to be doing that we're going to go there on foot damn it no traveling somewhere till i've been there on foot Still, before I begin my wander, yes, I need to empty the old inventory and maybe convert some of my new money into some exciting sexy spells, because I bet I can afford some now. Here we go, back to city, clear out a suspiciously large number of a bloodstained fur boots, merchant skill, ticking in the right direction too, spectacular. Oh no, 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 no discount spells for me today. I'm going to... Oh yeah, the Mystic Emporium, let's go. Okay, thing I'm learning fast. There seem to be a lot more spells here than there were in Skyrim in particular. Yeah, there's all sorts of ways to do stuff via magic that you can't do in Skyrim, like say, open locks. So I could just auto open a lock, potentially, if my alteration was good enough, I could open really tough locks using magic. And we've also got, uh, yeah, shielding, shielding somebody else, summoning a zombie. Now, I can't deny, zombies were pretty damn badass last time I ran into them. So, yeah, having one on my side, oh, go on, why not? Okay, next to Mr. Bones, uh, yes, Mr. Zombie only shows up for 30 seconds. But it costs more mana, suggesting it's better. Okay, back to Vilvarana, everything is good, uh, and here we go. Our plan is just to go around here and follow the Rad Road... Uh, Back round to the bridge that leads into the city. I see trouble right over there. So what do we need to do? Always keep in mind, yeah, what your plan is going forwards. According to the old skill diary, I'm now up to 9 out of 10 major skill increases. I'm almost ready to be level 2. So honestly, yes, I feel like I'm in a good place to level up. I am plus 5 on all sorts of bits and pieces, so we can do that. In which case... I think we know what we need to do. The incredibly sensible and serious option of jumping literally everywhere because that's going to get me acrobatics. Lovely. Hey there, buddy. Are me and you going to have a problem or are we okay? And okay, try and get used to aiming. Go. Completely missed. It's it's okay. Just, just hold still a tiny bit longer. Okay, now that will do. Really hope you weren't someone's pet, by the way. So here we go. Shield up, shield up, shield up. And... Okay, now he's going for... I feel like that guy just got framed for my crimes. I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry about this. Pay up or else. Wait, what? Who... Who are you? Just... I should have let the wolf take care of him. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. I don't actually have much money. 
I just kind of spent it in town. So, also, Khajiit were really ugly back in these days, weren't they? Don't say that out loud. I'm sorry, I don't have any money. That's fine. This one will kill you for free. Okay, this is this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Go, zombie! Activate zombie mode! And uh, how tough is this guy? Not that tough. Let the zombie take care of some of this. Oh, he's nothing! He's nothing! We've got him! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Me and you, mister. Oh, you've even got two arms! The one, the thing, only had one arm. Okay. Now this. This all flippin' do. Now we're kicking ass and taking names. Where does corpse go? I've... I've lost his corpse. There it is. Hang on. It was just in the grass. So, okay. Just take the good stuff. But, okay. I can handle this. I am... Uh, I'm in control. So, uh, just take decent weight to value ratio. And then keep on keeping on. Make sure we also heal up when we need to get the restoration moving. There's a pap. Fort Chowman. Potentially where bandits are hanging out. Just to be aware of uh, bandit possibilities. Okay, just just wolves as it turns out. And okay, we can handle wolves as long as there's not like too many of them or something. You know what? Let's just go over to uh, Zombie Friend. Zombie Friend, uh, go help out. Alright, if there's any trouble, just uh, deal with it for me. Okay, there's... Oh! Interior. Dungeons, etc, etc. So, okay. This might be a little mini dungeon. Okay. Atmospheric mist. We're now inside. I'm going to... Yeah, immediately set a torch. Because i got... John, you're not going to set a torch. You know why? Because you have the starlight ability. You're a mage. You should be using your own bloody spells. So, okay. Now, that is going to light me up. I'm currently hidden in a dark dungeon. Admittedly, in a dark dungeon surrounded by starlights. So, oh. Okay, so that hasn't worked out desperately, desperately well. And go, zombie friend! Okay, zombie friend seems to be drawing their attention way more effectively. Conjuration just... Conjuration just went up. That's a major skill! I think I might be ready to level up. I'm assuming that's what that means uh, up in the top right there. That's my you level up thing and... Okay, you are badass. Honestly, this zombie, he's the real hero, Dragonborn, whatever it is I am precisely. So, oh, yes, that's right. I'm the guy in the Emperor's Dreams. Watch out for traps. Because this mist could hide them very easily. Okay, as I understand it, I now need to find a place to sleep. Oh, hello, sexy. There's something down the bottom over there. My sneak skill just went up, suggesting whatever it is I'm hiding from it. How far away is it? Okay, your attack has... Uh-oh. Okay, that's that's a concern. That's a concern. Okay. Um, your attack has no effect. Okay, let's, let's try a sword. Uh-oh, there's ghosts. Let's figure this out. Physical attacks have no effect on a ghost. Reasonable, I suppose. But what happens... Uh, if I was to use magic. I'm not good at it, but I do have magic. Okay, that did something. That did something. You, keep the ghost busy for a second. I'm just going to take care of this skeleton. Good, 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 good. Zombie friend is just... No, no, no. We potion of sorcery. That's enough. Bye, buddy. And... Boop. Okay. There are ghosts who are completely resistant to everything in terms of uh, physical damage. Which makes a lot of sense when you think about it. And better and better, a book that gets me blades up though, hang on. At this point I'm ready to level up. But yeah, I'm still gaining major skills, so... Are they being wasted? Am I being inefficient? I don't know. What I do know, however, is... Uh, this would appear to be the bottom of the area. Ooh, a nice necklace and some random flesh. Some more gold. Uh, best as I can tell. Uh, hang about here. A bit more starlight if you'd be so kind. I don't see any more down. I think this might have been a very small little sub-dungeon. In which case, I think we're done. Good, 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 good. Back upstairs. We need to find, yes, a camp with a tent. It's time for my first ever level up. Okay, but take a moment on the way out to, yes, 
look at the view in particular. Mine symbol over in that direction. And some mysterious glowy rocks. Is that like... Ooh, hang on. Stone circle. Glowy. Potentially good. And there's the path. Just looping round. The rad road around the city. Okay. You see, this is why we do this sort of a business right here. Ah! Very... Okay, that was my legs. But that's fine. Didn't go that badly wrong. Could just uh, boost my restoration a little bit, actually. So it's all going to work out fine. Up here... There was, by the looks of it, a glowy stone. Are you guys important for some reason? Because I'm seeing, when well, I'm seeing a whole bunch of uh, seeds. Oh, now this seems important. Activate the Hestra runestone. Do you seek its conjured weapon and armor? I mean, I don't not seek its conjured weapon and armor. To be honest, I wasn't seeking its conjured weapon and... What? What just happened? I mean, I appear to be using some form of dagger. Like, that looks like a Daedric dagger or something. Hang on, what on earth am I holding? Yes, a bound dagger. So, okay, that's... That's nice, I suppose. In fact, yes, you know what? I should really be thinking about bound weaponry. Because I've got, like, no carry weight. So, weapons that weigh nothing... Not a bad idea, and apparently I'm also wearing bound gauntlets, so... Okay, this is all fascinating. Stone sleep, stones rest this day. Right, so... The stones give me, like, temporary small bonuses of some description. Potentially, yeah, like, a weapon I have now got in my hand for... A moment. So, I assume it's a good weapon. Like, this is a temporary benefit and all. Speaking of which, buddy. A me and you trouble. Because if not, I've got a brand new dagger that needs testing. State your business. So, okay. Nothing dramatic there. There are just random soldiers on the road. Uh, could be useful if I get into trouble. Logically, if he'd seen that highwayman, he would have attacked. Because, you know, protecting the roads from highwaymen, that's kind of his job. Anvil is all in an uproar. First the chapel attacked, now the prophet ranting about the end of the world. Okay, and the rumours for people out on the road might be a bit more worldwide. Because, yeah, in the city they're going to be giving me rumours about the city out here. I'm going to learn about new stuff, so uh, something's gone wrong at the church at Anvil. Gotcha. Okay, it's time. We're back here at Vilvaran because I know uh, there's a bedroll here. And the person who used to sleep in it is dead because I killed them. It's flipping time. Let's go. I've... Oh, I've not leveled up. I've ascended to level two. Okay, more games should use that phrasing. That's great right there. So, you suddenly realise all your life you've been coasting along as if you're in a dream. Suddenly facing the trials of the last few days, you've come alive. Okay, I'm getting stronger. Now, I'm going to be honest, I feel like, uh, yes, my lack of endurance is definitely a problem. That's an absolute definite right there. And speed, speed's going up because I want it to, I think. And Okay, hang on. Luck would be... Turn that off in case I'm making a decision. Luck only goes up by one. But luck's not tied to any individual skill, so... How would I make luck rise up like the others? Because there's no skill I can use to... Ooh, okay. I might be missing something here. But for the time being, honestly, I feel like actually... My plus fives are not a bad combination. Because I do need to just whack stuff with a stick. Alright, that's... That's reasonable right there. Then at speed, I enjoy speed. Speed is good. How fast I move, that's brilliant. Endurance, that's hit points. That's definitely a good idea. And is that all I need to do? And it would appear it is. Now, 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 now. If skills I leveled up while I was already over level 1 carry over, then what should be happening is... Uh, Yes, I'm already like a bit of the way to level 3. So all those minor and major increases I've already done, they're already pushing a few abilities up to plus 2, were I to level up immediately, and strength, uh, yes, that one's plus 2 as well. 
But luck's one. No skills are governed by luck. Okay, we're going to need to figure out luck. Because it's somewhat uh, unfortunate I decided to build a character that had loads of luck. And now I can't figure out how to boost luck above plus one. That there, that's unfortunate. So, uh, here we go. Back on the road. So, uh, alright. Goblet. That's pretty nearby, actually. Because, yes, as you move side to side, if you see the icon moving significantly, that means, uh, yeah, it must be pretty close. So, okay, that might just be an in on the road or something. And this game may be old, but it's still pretty, damn it. So, uh, okay, just a little traveling rest stop. That's lovely. Including, ooh, a horse. Not my horse, admittedly. Well, I say not my horse. I mean... If everyone in the house was dead, then... John, do not just randomly start killing people. All right. Who lives here? And what services uh, do they maybe offer? Because uh, if they're selling me, like, super cheap food, uh, then that could be really good in terms of uh, boosting alchemy in a hurry. Thank goodness someone that can help is here. Oh, no, no, I'm just here to buy apples. Oh, no, there's spots on my protagonists. I don't know how to make this request any simpler, but to put it bluntly... Raylan the Greyfinder must die. Okay, I didn't just like skip any text or something. I just walked in here and she just said, Oh, thank goodness. Right, go kill Raylan. Um, who's, who's Raylan? I was just here to buy apples to make myself better at producing apple juice. A few months ago, that witch of a necromancer decided to inhabit Moss Rock Cavern just north of my inn. I don't know what she does in there. Frankly, I don't want to know. However, I do know that after she arrived, the woods at night became unsafe. Every day, it seems the number of undead increase. If someone can get into the cave and kill Raylan, maybe we can stem the tide. Her death pays a handsome bounty. I hope you'll take advantage of the opportunity. Okay, I quite enjoy, by the way, how her take on the situation is. I don't know what Raylan the Gravedigger, the well-known necromancer, is doing up in her cave. But there sure are a lot of undead shambling around. You know what, Maylene? I think we might be able to put an educated guess in, you utter potato heads. Still no news out of Ellswell since everybody vanished. Strange business. And to more mysterious rumours too, Ellswell. Apparently the town's just... Empty. Oh, I can follow up on that. We've had travelers through recently that say it's turned into a ghost town. Everyone vanished without a trace. Okay, well, I'm going to be honest. If you want me to stay focused on taking out your necromancer problem, don't go telling me about other interesting, sexy, exciting adventures I could go on. You're working against yourself here. You see, this here, this is what I wanted. All I wanted to do was buy a huge amount of food because all the food does the same thing. It restores fatigue. Meaning now I could combine a bread loaf and a carrot to create a restore fatigue potion. Now I know what you're thinking, John, that's just a carrot sandwich. No, it's a restore fatigue potion. See, my alchemy skills going up at everything. And then absolutely wild, having bought, yes, various food items for two gold each, I can now sell the resulting potion for five gold. I'm making a profit by buying every bit of food this inn has, smushing it together, and then handing it back in a small jar. So, oh, this is, I'm a genius at business. Is that literally the door to the cave? Like, right there. Yeah, it was right here, okay. So, yeah, that was that was very nearby. She was not wrong. Time to see who's the most mighty necromancer. Because I might be able to make use of, say, her apparel. She might be wearing a special necromancer robe. Now that, that I could go for. Oh, the view's quite nice from up here. This game's still rather pretty. Also, that's a good point. Okay, so I'm still doing only three damage, but... The bow's doing better. The bow should be my go-to weapon. Okay, that does uh, literally more damage by potentially a fairly large, you know, percentage increase. One damage uh, might actually make a lot of difference. And on top of that, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait. Sneak attacks. Presumably, sneak attacks are going to be, yes, boosting my beautiful... Oh, don't mind me. Just round two here. Pop out. Fire. And yes, we're doing good work here against you, Lovely. 
So, as we were warned, uh, skeletons. Alright. Bow away. Get the uh, old torch out. Check the roots one by one. Oh! That the best you can do? I feel like that might be her, actually, and... She just summoned a ghost. Oh, well, that's no good at all. Deploy the zombie. I need to take out the ghost. Then again, I could just not. I think it's time to break out the good stuff. It's time to break out the good sword. Let's go. Good sword. And she's running. Well, that's just cowardice. Yeah, let's go. Just just dog pile up. Dog pile it together. Good. We got her. Was, was that her? I'm not sure that was her. Okay, now don't waste the good weapon beyond that. That might have just been a different necromancer. So there is... Uh, yeah, blunt weaponry, not so good. Uh, ooh, a necromancer robe, though. Loads of potions. Uh, she comes with, uh, yes, some potentially rather useful bits and pieces. Yeah, that wasn't her. Because, John, you've literally got a marker on the screen right now saying where she is. And it's not here. Okay, she's just got necromancer friends. Here we go, local map. So it looks like she's actually, yes, to the left. This was just a side area. By the looks of it. Unless, of course... Ooh. John. John, John, John. By any chance, is there going to be a Skyrim door over in this direction? There's my acrobatics. Remember to jump everywhere. Oh, yeah. There we go. Open wooden door. Hard lock. So, if I was really good at lock picking, I could skip to the end. That's not actually a Skyrim door. That's... You know what's really interesting? This game, in some way, to me, feels immediately... A bit more RPG than action RPG. Like, it's a bit more of a hardcore RPG than Skyrim was. Like, Skyrim and Fallout 4, for example, they don't really do lockpick lets you skip to the end of the dungeon. It's more lockpick just lets you have a bit more loot. But yeah, this is... Ooh, this is proper RPG where I can potentially use secondary skills to bypass a dungeon if fighting's not my forte. Okay, we're in RPG land, and I'm very happy about that. Still, by the looks of it, yes, if I just keep going this way, I'll be able to loop round eventually to get to her. And I'm pretty sure I just saw in the distance over there. Hang on, there she is. There Why she you is. Go? Come out where I can see you. That's a necromancer. Who's there? But I can't quite... Is that a shot? That was not a shot. Okay, huh? just, just back off a little bit. Thing. Right in the traditional Elder Scrolls knee. Screw it. Just, just summon a zombie. It's fine. All right, just go, go. Always with the ghost. Always with the cocking ghost, and then backing off. Okay, I think I just snuck attack my own zombie right there. Okay, you know what? You can do whatever you want, but oh, he's he's tougher. He's tougher than I was expecting. Also, where's he just gone? Okay, either he can teleport or I'm just not very good at, uh, yes, keeping track of people. There we go. And when he dies, uh, yeah, his summons disappear immediately. Necromancer hood, yes, robot deflection. Lardy dud, that was worth a lot of money. Okay, selling enchanted gear I don't need, uh, not bad. And uh, steel mace, damage of three. Yeah, I might want to do a bit of blunt at some point. And there's the key. Either I needed to go and find the key, or I needed to, yes, just lockpick the door. Oh, proper RPG, a hello there, sexy. Okay, unfortunately, the necromancer robe provides literally no benefit whatsoever, but I am wearing a hood right now. It's the same a hood, but in black. Okay, you know what? I am doing some necromancy. That's legitimate. We'll keep that, and... Uh, Shield at 5% on self. So, okay, right now I'm wearing, yes, leather gear with armor of uh, 3. Or I put... Oh, it's really ugly. I'm so sorry. I make my decisions primarily based on fashion. And I feel like that is... Uh, that's the superior option. So, okay. Back to the front room. Healing as we go. Restoration and my health back. Lovely. Also, I didn't notice till just now. Okay, when you level up everything resets. It's not that I took up uh, three skills by plus five, but the others I didn't take, I can take later. No, everything resets. Though, to be honest, I'm, I'm leveling up fast. Actually, I'm already up to four out of ten again. So I need to uh, slow down a bit. I need to be using, yeah, stuff that's not my core abilities, or I'm leveling up too bloody fast. So, okay. 
I think I know what we need to do. Go back and grab the steel mace. Damage is three, so it's doing the same as my existing melee weapon, just because steel superior to iron. But as a result of having that, that's a minor skill, not a major. Which is also going to, yes, level up really fast as I use it, because it's starting at a much lower level. Blunt's only at 12 versus a blade, which is at... 31, but I'm doing the same damage with both weapon types, so okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right, you need to keep an eye on how you're leveling, otherwise things are going to go wrong. Okay, prepare to summon zombie, then just run in and batter her with a stick. Okay, just... here we go. Open door. Who's there? Go! In, 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 go, 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 go. Where's the zombie gone? The zombie's keeping the ghost busy. Oh, she's got friends. There's more here than I was anticipating. This is why we bring the healing potions. It's all absolutely fine. Go, go. See if we can just lure her out. I think she's got a healing thing. Oh, she's actually, what is that? Okay, there we go, there we go. Just close the door on her face. Go, 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 and if we're lucky, my zombie friend might be able to. I think my zombie friend's dead, and now all her friends are piling in. Okay, if I can just kill her. Uh-oh. Okay, this is fine. Back off. Heal. Heal a bit more. Just need to beat her. Yes, yes. Just the tiniest bit more. Ghost of Spears. Ghost of Spears. Greyfinder's Repose. I've slain Raylan. Yeah, but I think her best friend Tim's about to slay me, actually. Oh, <laughs> We'll call it a tie. Okay, let's try this again, but this time let's try this all sensible-like. Which is one, John, your most powerful weapon is a bow. And two, you have been trying to do some alchemy, and that means, yes, you have got various potions. Literally none of my potions do damage to health. Brilliant. Can I make one that damages health? Ooh, I might be able to, you know. Here we go, damage health. So, ooh! I picked those up in this very cave. All right. So one damage health potion. Damage two points of health for nine seconds. That's potentially quite a lot. Okay. So now, now I've got a damage potion. So that's like 18 points of health. That's not nothing. So poison my next shot. Lovely. So now, now we're ready. Right. Open the door and then back off. Don't get spotted immediately. And now, just line her up. And I'm not sure headshots count for anything, but just in case they do. Boop! And that is quite a bit of health. That's damage over time. And then she summons the ghost. Right, get up. John, you've not got the right spell set. Go! Get the thing. Go over to the thing. And her ghost is now well behind. She's paying attention to the zombie. And now we can just absolutely... Did she just... She is healing like crazy. I think she's got potions. She might have items too. Go, 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 go. Do not let her heal. She's desperately... She's very good at healing actually. That, sorry, that was, my, that was my own guy. And also, I think I've been frozen. And now... I definitely think I've been frozen in place. Oh no, I'm over encumbered. I mean, I shouldn't be. I'm clearly not... Okay, I think she... I think she did something to my encumbrance. Well, that's just cheating. Okay, I was still on to a basically conceptually good idea at that point. Just wait and line her up. And yeah, let her get way away. And boom, there's the poison. And if we're lucky, we'll get another hit in right there. Now back away. Zombie. Go! Don't let her do anything. Get out the thing and now just try and wail on her. If we can just do damage fast enough. Now I think she maybe she's got like an automatic built-in heal. Block. Go, go. And then go! Finish her off, 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 finish her off! Yes! Okay, she's dead and my zombie's still alive. There's still a skeleton, that's probably her friend. Grab what she's got on her. Monk robe. May or may not be good. I feel like she did not have anything particularly exciting on her. Okay, there goes my friend. I'm summoning more friends. Go at zombie number two. Go with a bow and more flipping skeletons. Dear right flipping here. Right, get over to here. Top you down. Right, buddy. Go, 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 go. There's another necromancer somewhere. All right, last one goes down. Blood skill goes up. But yes, the important thing to learn here is uh, these guys. They are not in any way scared. Ooh, Resist fire pants. 
Brilliant. So, okay. The enemy are not in any way scared of healing. They heal all the time right there. And I'm going to be honest, Jam. These robes, 5% on self together with uh, resist fire 10%. You know what? Sooner or later, I'm going to run into somebody who uses fire. And I'm going to be really happy I've got those. But I might sell the robe of deflection. Just so, yeah, I've got some money. Alright, but here's the good stuff right here. They were apparently focusing on, yes, bringing crabs back to life. There is also a death claw. That's who they were worshipping. Yet another chest I need to solve. Just in case it's booby trap, because I do not trust necromancers, because you know I am one. Just need to heal up a tiny bit first. Okay, here we go. We can do this. We can do this. Just wait for it to be up. Yep, there's one. Darn it, I have not got the knack of this. There we go. Security goes up. Got it. Bit of potion. Absorber. That's what she did. 100% she must have absorbed strength. And that's why I was briefly, yes, unable to move. She didn't freeze me. She reduced my strength. Thereby reducing my carry capacity. Thereby effectively paralyzing me. Which is very interesting, isn't it? Because... I wonder if I could equally do that to other characters. If I could reduce their strength enough, then just the fact they are carrying bits of equipment might be enough to paralyze them. Fascinating. Also, why is there a chest here that's empty, but it's after it's locked? Okay, John, you have eight picks left. All right, you've been burning through them a bit too fast. No more. Back to the woman except your rewards. I realize it's in poor taste to celebrate anyone's demise. But Raylan was evil through and through. You've done the right thing. All right, there we go. And 45 gold. Okay, well, I guess we're doing it out of the goodness of our hearts primarily because, uh, yes, indeed, uh, who could possibly be so uh, evil as to be a zombie summoning necromancer? What a monster. Small environments with multiple NPCs are utterly terrifying in this game because NPCs do attempt to communicate with each other. But if they're all clustered into one environment, they just sort of bumble into each other, desperately all small talking at each other. It's it's truly terrifying. Mainly they're just yelling, "Hello, good day, how are you? Very well. I'm a potato. Goodbye." It's it's just it's truly the stuff of nightmares. Right. I feel like we've done what we need to do here. Time to be on our way. Oh, but there's a symbol I recognize. Uh, that's the same symbol that was, uh, yes, at Vilverin. So, okay. Hang on, is Vilverin not a place? Is Vilverin maybe uh, a type of dungeon? There is uh, the well. Okay. So, yeah, that's bonus magic. Brilliant. But I'm going to assume, yes, there's something underneath this well that's like a chimney. But for magic... But yeah, there's also going to be... Oh. Alright. That'll be the next entrance. Now, by any chance, buddy, are you going to be... Sirson? Okay, it's not a Vilvaran. Are you guys... Okay, they drew a sword first. They drew first. That means the murder is now entirely legitimate and moral. Okay? Because I did not start it. But my zombie is going to be the one that finishes it. Actually, you know what? John. John, John, John. Trying to test out something else I've not really been thinking about yet. Which is uh, soothing a touch. A spell of mine. Illusion. So I can calm somebody for 15 seconds. Now, what does that mean? If I do that, are you now calm? He may or may not have been. But regardless, he was not keen about my zombie. I could potentially just say to people, no, you calm down and don't fight. Now, that might be useful if I'm, say, outnumbered and want to take them out one by one. All right, well, in we go. Trying to find out whether, yes, these are layered or I layered or whatever. Yes, dungeons. Are they, like, big, super scary dungeons? Is that what's going on here? So activate that. Back away. Just a random thing right there. Hey, buddy. Don't mind me, 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 don't mind me. No! Calm! Are you now calm? You appear to be. 
Okay, so I've got a calming skill. If I want to just take somebody out of the fight, I can do. So for the next 15 seconds, and then not calm. Go, but I need to be right up to them. Then I can get behind them. And then... Free damage. Okay, but that breaks them out the spell, understandable. And okay, you seem a little bit tougher. Light armor skill going up to... Maybe, just maybe. Yeah, let's bring in the reinforcements and... Zombie friend! Block! No, you don't. Zombie friend, get in there, please. I'm just gonna block so my zombie friend can get up to him. And... My zombie friend hits so much harder than me. Like, it's good, but it's also embarrassing. And yeah, once again, I can bypass enemies, potentially, by using lockpicking. Hello there, buddy. I see you. How many of you are present in this room? It's the same thing. It's magic crystals. These appear to be like magical wells and I've become... Oh, I think I just hit 25 in sneaking. So all of a sudden, when I'm sneaking, I now do extra damage. Okay. So unlike Skyrim, where you have to get your skill to a certain level, then you can choose a perk when you level up. You just get the perk when your skill reaches the relevant level. So now I am a level 25 chameleon. Magnificent. Where did you just go, buddy? Also, hang on, what's that? Ah, this isn't a shortcut, it's a treasure room. All right, just need to find uh, my friend. I see you over there. Okay, aim, a little bit up and boom. Nice, three times damage, okay. And I'm guessing melee, the multiplier is higher. John, stop using bows. You shouldn't be using bows. Also, John. Don't even attempt it. You can't do that yet. You need to practice more. And yes, 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 yes. I mean, it's almost a kill. Oh, sorry. I didn't even see you there. That's really embarrassing. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't realize you guys were here. Zombie friend, help me. Right, okay. Go, 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 go. Zombie friend, there's... Okay, there's more bandits coming in, but zombie friend is fine. Okay, so mages are big healy lads in this game, and you guys are not so much. Yeah, they don't seem to have any potions at all. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. There were... There were many more people in this room than I was expecting. And some of them I was literally standing on top of, but I did not see them. But yeah, Woken Stones. I mean, they're worth good money. I could just sell them at the store. Just don't know whether maybe they're worth more in some form of, uh, yeah, quest or something. Best as I can tell, that's... That's it. It was just this one room, but then again... The last time we were in... And I laid ruin. There were trap doors and like, you know, uh, pressure plates. Where when I stepped on them, that opened up secrets. Some of these walls might not be walls. And I poked around in every corner and picked up every stone in case they were relevant for some reason. If there's something here that's secret and important, unfortunately, I've missed it. Maybe John? There was another one. Could have sworn I'd got them all already. So either there's a puzzle in it here where... Oh, and there's one there too. I was about to say there's a puzzle in it here where more appear when I'm not looking. Or I'm just, you know, very bad at perception. And honestly, the latter is more likely yes. Okay, this average locked door. I am going to gamble four picks on it. And I don't mean I'm going to try and solve the puzzle. I'm just going to auto attempt four times. And we're going to see whether fate wants me in the treasure room. So one, two, three, four. Fate does not want me in the treasure room. Goodbye, Seren. Okay, just outside, brand new day, we've got signs. So this direction is Bruma. And this direction is Imperial City. Ah, because obviously to get to the Imperial City, most people aren't idiot protagonists like me who just swim over these shark infested water and try and find a way in where they can. Most people are looking for the bridge, which is round the far side. Gotcha. So there we go. Take a right there, and we're following the silver road up towards Bruma. But we don't know what's going on in Bruma, so don't worry about that just yet. Though, hang about, there's, there's something in front of me. 
Ale Swell. Oh! Ale Swell! I was told about that, and because I asked, they put it on my map. Okay, so I know where we're going. We're going to the mysterious town where everybody disappeared. So, okay, we should be coming up on uh, Ale Swell in a second, though there's also a... Uh, a left turn and a cave in the meantime as well. Just keep your eyes on the compass. It's going to tell you there's... Oh! Okay, well, I wonder where the mysterious evil necromancer who stole all the people in this village might be located. It's just, it's just a massive... Then again, actually, you know what? It is a mystery. There's a cave over there. And there's a mysterious ruined tower down over there. Both of those are really, really good candidates for, yes, evil necromancer. Because it is always a bloody evil necromancer. These games are just anti-necromancer propaganda. So, okay, here we go. This is just a tiny hamlet on the road. Uh, weapons away. And, yes, we should be expecting nobody home, though. Oh. If nobody's home, then these are my lettuces, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time to make some potions. And, oh. They're not gone. They're just invisible. And not that invisible, either. And then there's an inn. Okay. Plenty of inns just on the road. Uh, Excuse me. Oh. We have a small problem that we hope you can help us with. You may be wondering why you can't see me. We are all wondering the same thing. Everyone in Aylswell suddenly became invisible several weeks ago. It was sort of fun at first, but the novelty has definitely worn off now. You can imagine how difficult it is to run an inn while invisible. Once you get a reputation as a haunted inn, you can just forget about it. So we've all been keeping quiet. Hoping the spell will wear off, but we're running out of patience. We're sure it was Ankatar's doing, but we can't find him. If you can help us, we will be extremely grateful. I will love this game forever if Ankatar's just sitting in the corner sniggering because he is also invisible. He's a wizard who took up residence in the ruins of Fort Caractacus a couple of years ago. If you could find him and get him to remove this cursed invisibility, we will all be in your debt. Okay, I get the feeling I'm about to be, uh, yes, entering a small dungeon full of invisible enemies. Ooh, I bet they're Dark Elves! She just mentioned, yes, her homeland during the Blight. That happened during Morrowind, right? Okay, that'll be why they've got slightly unconventional names. I bet they're Dark Elves. And the answer turns out today to be, yes, the trouble's down in the ruin, not in the cave. Beautiful. Though the plus side, yes, it's not anti-necromancer propaganda for once. Though it is still anti-magic propaganda in general. Seriously, I would not be surprised if at some point during the history of Elder Scrolls uh, there was just a massive Dragon Age style crusade against all magic users. Because they cause no end of bloody trouble. Okay, bare minimum, let's nip back to town, clear out the old inventory before we take out the invisible monsters. Also, I really hope I'm not going to regret this later, but... Yeah, the Welkin Stones. They do weigh a lot. I'm gonna keep two, but get rid of most. But at the end of the day, that does get me over a thousand gold. Okay, might be time for a bit more shopping, because now I can actually afford some stuff. Oh, now a uh, hello, Saxy. I was just planning to, you know, buy some spiky things to hit people with, but apparently I might be able to become a homeowner. All right, just out of interest, how much is a house? Because I've got a thousand gold, which sounds like a lot, but actually isn't. I don't trust you enough to talk about that. So, okay, we might need to, yes, have one of those conversations where we tell her one joke, one threat, one compliment, and one other thing. All right, then maybe she'll be willing to tell me how much a house costs. All right, what does she like? What does she like? She likes a joke. And she's sort of okay with admire. So, it's okay. Admire, joke, then just give her a semi big boast and fetch. ignore coerce no and keep that. on keeping um, on. All I have available right now is a hovel on the waterfront. Okay. Now that's pretty damn solid. You've got a hovel that's not really worth anything. And I've barely got any money. This is a match made in heaven, but 
even then, yeah, 2,000 gold. That is not what I've got. I'm so sorry. I'll be back later. Okay. Bound dagger. Now, this could be just the thing. How about instead of carrying around a sharp weapon, I just summon one when I need it. So, okay, sort out the bound dagger. And ideally, I'd like to replace the steel mace with something lighter as well. 19 for 3 damage. That's just no. No, 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 no. What else have you got, my good sir? Okay, here's something. I mean, it's only 2 damage, but it also weighs at only 8. So for when I'm taking on, like, you know, a really flimsy enemy, you know what, screw it, I'm going for the club. But okay, now, 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 when I get attacked, I just do this. And I've got, aha, it's the same thing as before. So, oh, it doesn't last very long. Oh, I'm going to regret this. This is going to wear off before the fight's over. All right, put that away. This is now the new plan. When I run into trouble, I literally generate a weapon out of magic. Beautiful. Back towards uh, this location. Just be aware. There's a very good chance there's going to be invisible enemies. And you're going to know they're invisible because you're not going to notice them till they've already started eating you. So yeah, the effect is... Uh, it's basically the, um, the stealth boy effect from Fallout 3. So just look out for that. We should be golden. I see something moving in there. Or I'm imagining it, one or the other. It's hard to tell. Alright. Just prepare to fire with bow. Skyrim my way down the cliff. Everything's a-okay. Okay. They did warn me about invisible enemies. So why aren't there invisible enemies? Like, that's that's a concern. Well, pretty sure I've just found the invisible enemies then. Okay, summon something. And now summon something else. Okay, my zombie can find them. And... Okay, it's basically a Night Stalker, isn't it? Yes, okay, it's just a Night Stalker. Right, Bring it on, you stupid night stalkery. Oh, that wears off so fast. That wears off so terrifyingly fast. I'm not sure this was a good idea. Ah, except, hang on. This guy, he's not a magician. He's an alchemist, and I've seen this stuff before. I'm pretty sure if I take this, my potions get better. Someone was selling this stuff. Yeah, I've already got the um, mortar and pestle, but now... Now that I've got the other stuff, oh my. Hang on, what does that mean I can do? Okay, I don't need to click on one or the other. Any of them will do, but they do weigh a bit, mines. Okay, bit annoying, but what can you do? Not really sure what this means, and... Okay, well, I've just got basically, yes, more equipment. Maybe my potions uh, will be better now. I'm not sure. Oblivion take you. What is it you want from me? Oh, I think I found the person. So... Okay, uh, before we discuss the invisibility spell, would you like to engage in a small- Uh-oh. I can't see his face. I'm going to bribe him straight away. So there we go. There's some money. I can evaluate how he's doing based on his reactions, but normally facial expression is important in this game. So okay, start. Try a joke. Sure, that's cute. Okay, he enjoys jokes. Try coerce. Whatever you want. Okay, that was a positive response. That means he probably doesn't like admire or boast. Not now. Not later. Not ever. So you say. Yes, it's joke and coerce. He likes joke and coerce. So, okay, that's fine. Sure, so we can sort that no out. More. No trouble no, no. at so all. Say. And there we go. This is going to be nice and easy. There we go. Fair few times round. We got him up to 76. No trouble. So now he likes us as much as it's possible for him to like us. Which might mean he's willing to back down and we don't have to murder him. So okay, done with that. Now, now that we're excellent friends, let's talk about the spell. Yes, I have been working on a new invisibility spell. As you can see, it works quite well. Why? Well, you do seem to have turned an entire town invisible. Possibly by spiking their water supply with invisibility juice, I'm guessing. Oh, really? Everyone in town? 
That must have been what all the shouting was about a few weeks ago. I'm afraid I was engrossed in an experiment that required my full attention. You see, in order to increase the efficacy of the spell, the radius was likely to approach the... Oh, never mind, I don't mean to bore you. Okay, so this guy doesn't seem to want to fight. It was an honest mistake. Let's just reverse it, be on our way. No need for a ridiculous murder showdown. You can tell them not to worry. The effect is not actually permanent. It should wear off eventually. Well, in a year or two, maybe a bit more. There's no way to be absolutely sure. That's the exciting thing about basic research. Okay, we're going to need better than that. Really? I find being invisible quite refreshing. But, if it will get everyone to leave me alone, fine. I did work out a counter spell last week. If I can just put my hand to it. Ah, here. Stand in the center of town to make sure you get everyone. Oh, and make sure... Never mind, it should be fine. Okay, I'm not necessarily happy with this um let's discuss it a bit more first just in case it might be best if you wore this ring while you were casting the spell i make them myself very useful for this kind of research not that i think anything will go wrong a serious side effects are highly unlikely you know what i like this guy okay back in the center of town he did say yes the ring so, hang on. Ring of protection. Does that replace anything? No, I could just put on this ring. Admittedly, it doesn't seem to have any effects on it. Yep, nothing in the active effects tab. So, I guess we'll see what happens. I've used the scroll and the people are visible. I wonder what would have happened if I hadn't been wearing the ring. Who flipping knows? Also, you're an orc! I'm so sorry, I thought you were a dark elf. Hey, do you mind not trampling on my crops? What do you want? I literally just made you not invisible. But, you know, you're welcome, I guess. Thank you, thank you. I can't tell you how good it feels to be able to see myself again. My sisters, on the other hand. I wouldn't mind if they had stayed invisible. <laughs> ah, me. Friend... You are welcome at the Aleswell Inn any time. Free of charge. Oh, now that's a good result right there. And there we go. I've now got a free bed if I ever need one. Spectacular. Not that one, though. Just this one. Um, this one looks nicer, though, so it's fine. Fantastic. Okay. Thanks, so I've done a nice thing to help out hey. these individuals. Lovely. Hey. And as for the lad himself, well, to be honest, I'm not actually, um, sure. Can't see him right now, but Hello then... There. There he is! Hello, how are you doing? I'm glad you were able to help them. I would have done it myself, but I like being invisible. Besides, I don't know if they'd have been happy to see me. Plenty of them aren't. You probably made the right decision there, buddy. Although I can't help but notice, yes, um, his little castle, though he was outside, does appear to have an interior hangabout. But if the quest's done... And he's solved everything already. Why does he have a creepy unlit murder basement? Okay. I'm modestly suspicious there might be more to this guy than I originally suspected. Like, say... Okay, there's also people in his creepy murder basement. Okay, let's not assume anything bad here. Let's just say, hello, it's me, a friend of Ankator, or was his name Ankator? I can't remember. Hello, are you a prisoner? I feel like potentially, okay, I'm not, I'm not entirely 100% welcome here. Yeah, well, bad luck, mate. Unfortunately, I'm a conjurer too. So how about we just get over to here? Okay, she's summoning demons and, oh, there's, okay, there's, there's, there's several of them, actually. And there's also, there's, there's stuff just happening. Okay, you're dead, meaning whatever you summoned just died. Ooh, gold trim shoes. Very fancy. Okay, just keep on keeping on. You try and summon... Oh, you're summoning weapons too. Oh, it's flipping Conjurer fight here. Oh, I've won Conjurer Bowl. Brilliant. I'm going to be honest. At this point, I feel like I'm just murdering innocents. Like, okay, these people were Conjurers, but... Okay, they also do have cells. Which doesn't prove they were doing anything wrong. But 
I've never in my life met someone who had cells in his basement where that wasn't a worrying sign. Oh, and I tell you what, this completely unjustifiable murder was all worth it. Because somebody was keeping a steel bow down over here. It does the same damage. It just weighs more. It probably does slightly more, I just can't see the decimals. Oh, hello! We got, we got problems! We've got, uh-oh. How much do you mind about that hole? Well, he was attacking a random wolf. Yes? Okay, he's surprisingly chill about all his friends being dead. Maybe they weren't his friends. Oh, and I just jumped and my acrobatic skill went up. Okay, hang on. John, you need to be careful. Oh, I'm 9 out of 10 on major skills. And I am not where I want to be, okay? From now on, do not jump. Like, anywhere. We're not jumping, and we're also not using bows, later uh, weapons, uh, anything we summon. Okay, so. It's taken me, yes, till part three to fall into the oblivion leveling trap, which is... Uh, I've started getting into the rhythm of using some of my favourite abilities, and I've not been diverse enough, and as a result of that, yeah. Now if I level up, don't jump. Yeah, I'm going to have a bad level up. Okay, we know what we do now. If see enemy, hit enemy with pointy wooden stick. We are now pointy wooden stick. No, not pointy. Blunt wooden stick. That's the entire bloody points. Still, we've taken out a necromancer, solved the villager's invisibility problem, and yes indeed, had a really good level up before getting dangerously close to a bad one. So, right, 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 we're having the full oblivion experience here. I would say that's enough for now. Next time, we have to be really, really careful. Okay, what we need to do is we need to only use my minor skills. All my favourite toys are going back in the box. Alright, blunt sticks, alchemy, what else could I do? Ooh, blocking, blocking's allowed, that's fine, hand to hand, do lots of potions, try some destruction, okay. Next time, we're gonna have to get used to some brand new skills very, very quickly indeed, because, uh, yes, until I'm a little bit more ready for level 3, I can't flipping touch any of my major skills. Don't jump, okay. Join me next time as I desperately try and remember not to jump and I'm going to fail and we're going to have a terrible level up, but hopefully, hopefully not. Hopefully I can just keep my finger off the jump button. We shall flipping see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Oblivion. Thank you very much and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got ourselves- I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.